My name is James Snyder, and today I'd like to present my investigations into anthropod defense behavior. This is for insect behavior uh, discussion four. I knew I was going to have to do some searching and some reading for this discussion. I'm also interested in the cultural perceptions that people have uh, towards insects. So I figured that a great idea was to just go ahead and start with a Google image search, a basic Google image search of something uh, simple like insect defense, and just see what comes up. So for the web search, you obviously get um, a Wikipedia page on, on the defense of insects, and that's great, and some other uh, insect species. But what is uh, interesting to note is you also get uh, a lot of websites that are dedicated to the control or the prevention, the uh, defending homes or defending people, primarily from pests uh, that we c or insects that we consider pests in our societies and in our cities. There's an interesting video that came up in a search labeled Unknown Insect Defense Mechanism. In this video, we see a beetle that has wandered into a work area, uh, and these two mechanics are uh, attempting to just play with it after they notice the, the weird clicking defense mechanism. After another search, I can say for certain that I know that this is a click beetle. Well, now comes the question of the clicking. Uh, is this a defense mechanism? Uh, is this a way for them to move? How are they doing it? Why are they doing it? Uh, what are the benefits and the costs of doing this? And of that information, what can I present in this discussion? A lot of insects rely on springs and clicking mechanisms to achieve fast actions. And a lot of the research so far has primarily been focusing on the morphological characteristics and the constraints associated with that uh, when it comes to the j actual jump of the click beetle. Basically what this research sought to show was that there are constraints on the, on the jump of the clicking beetle. In other words, they can build a predictive model uh, of how these beetles are actually going to jump. Uh, in the case of this research, they found a jump angle of 79.7 degrees uh, and that they were jumping almost vertically and exerting uh, pretty much all of their energy, 98% of the jumping force was going vertically against gravity. It's important to note uh, also that whenever they execute this jump or this self-writing click, um, they are not more or less, they're not able to control the jump uh, while in the air and they can kind of they can control the energy output of how much energy they're going to put into it but as far as control once they've left the ground controlling themselves in the air uh, they don't seem able to do that and they are they're constantly coming up with a uh, statistical value no more than than just chance about a 50 50. So what does this mechanism actually look like? Uh, I like this diagram from the research. It, it shows a simplification. This is a simple catapult mechanism. Uh, kind of gives you a visual of how this energy is actually being stored and exerted uh, and what the triggering mechanism is. So in this case, the energy is stored in that spring-like structure, which represents a muscle, which is primarily composed, it's going to be composed of resolin. And this is what the insect is going to use to actually store that energy. So as the click beetle uh, moves that region, and starts bending its back uh, in the area between the head and the interior thorax, uh, it's actually storing energy. And then that stored energy will get caught up on a, on a hook-like structure or a peg-like structure, uh, at which point the insect will allow uh, passive deformation to actually uh, take over. So the energy will be resting on that peg. It will have a natural tendency to deform passively, uh, and when it does, that energy will eventually be released all at once. And in the, in the case of the clicking beetle, uh, that means that the click would occur and it will go flying into the air. But there's a couple, couple other examples in the research that they give uh, where these mechanisms are being used in other insects, such as the, the legs of a flea uh, or, or some other ones in there as well. But the main component is, of course, resolin, uh, which is the, the main factory for storing this energy. So whether or not this mechanism is actually passive or active uh, is still up for research, but we do know a lot about the morphology of the, this mechanism. So this is an insect behavior class, so what about the insect's behavior? And, and what can that tell us uh, about the, the morphology, or what has probably shaped the morphology of this, this catapult mechanism that we see in these click beetles? As far as the function of this behavior goes, the most obvious thing is the self-writing. That is, if this beetle were to find himself upside down on a substrate uh, that he cannot get a footing on, 
uh, this this clicking mechanism acts as a self-writing mechanism. Uh, and as we we've seen before, they can't control the angle. Uh, it's not they can't control it during uh, in the air at all. But it, it will effectively launch them vertically against gravity, uh, at least giving them a chance to to self-write and con and continue on. Also, being out in the open uh, with predation and things like that, and if you are flipped upside down, uh, kind of like a tortoise or something, uh, it's it's not advantageous to be upside down for very long, uh, especially in a harsh environment where there's a lot of predation. But what if this beetle were in an environment or a situation? Uh, that had a predation that was more susceptible to something else, say, uh, like a startle response. Uh, I think it's funny that we should go, we need to go back to the YouTube video uh, and as a testament to the effectiveness <laughs> uh, of this startle response. Yeah. What the? <laughs> yeah. What the? Given the situation, I think that the almost, uh, whether it be a self-writing mechanism or it be a startle response, uh, in this particular case, it intrigued the interest of these these mechanics, uh, and that couldn't that might have not been the case had it been a German cockroach uh, or a flea on their dog or or something else like that. So it's a testament to to the susceptibility of of predation sometimes, uh, and also the the magnitude at which these these interactions are going on in the environment. So I've talked about the self-writing. Uh, I've given an example of maybe a startle response. Um, and I need, to t I need to mention the aposematic coloration on the dorsal side. Uh, this often gives the, the name uh, eastern-eyed click beetle or, or the like, uh, although there's a variety of different species uh, of click beetles, some of which uh, might be more or less lacking with the... the giant eye spots, as they call them. And one last thing to mention that I think is, is very important is that once they remove themselves from a substrate, say you are to go up to them, uh, like in this video, on a tree, and they have removed themselves from the substrate, they will actually play dead. So the ability for this insect to play dead uh, is important in two ways. One, uh, whenever it removes itself from the substrate uh, by staying perfectly still, it may have uh, gain an advantage of the predation will lose uh, sight of the animal on the ground, uh, and with it not moving, it will not be able to locate it. Secondly, some predation prefer a, a live prey over a, a dead prey. So things that uh, are dead or appear to be dead to the predator may be unpalatable to that predator. He may prefer something else, and he may he may move on in certain situations. That would uh, that would give the beetle an advantage to to get out of there. So that's a, that is a quick overview of some of the behaviors, or at least the behaviors that I've interpreted or I've, I've come across in the research uh, after doing my initial uh, quick search for insect defense mechanisms uh, and came up with doing this on the click beetle. All right, that's going to be my contribution to discussion four on the click beetle and the mechanism therein. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions about the video, uh, or any critiques or anything like that, please just leave, drop them in the video or the little comment box below.